Hey guys, welcome back to Homesteading with the Heberts. Today we're going to go ahead and we're going to take care of the chickens. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some hay out to the chicken. Guys, check out my uh, path to the chickens here. It's getting flooded out. All this water is draining from up here. All the ice melt is just coming down from right underneath and flooding out my path to the chickens. It's using the path for the chick that I use for the chickens to float down and leave the property. That's not good. It's a lot of water coming down there. Can't wait to switch back to the other type of water. Close them up so there's not too many in there for when I do the feeder. They got a couple eggs in here too. They're burying them in the shavings. Look at this, guys. I just dug these two out. Look at this. I really can't wait until I can go back to the other feet. I really can't wait until I can go back to that other water. This one here, I think they knock into it too much and they spill most of the water. Unfortunately. Um, so I can't wait until I go back to my bucket at the side. Alright, I gotta get their feed. Alright, so the first thing I'm gonna do, alright, so the first thing I'm gonna do is bring some feed in there and throw it on the, uh, and throw it down in the hay. That way it'll actually spread it out a little bit more. Alright, so that'll keep them busy in there. I'll fill this one up and the one that's in the, the one that's in the coop will have a chance to eat this. Whoop, that one didn't work.
It is warm out today. Probably like 55, 60 degrees right now. The only reason I had my coat on earlier was to grab the eggs. I knew I was going to have some. I wanted the pockets. have to reconnect this, it's not allowing the door to come apart. So I just raised up the, the line for this, so to get it further off the ground. All right, guys, before we go and finish this out, let's go ahead and check on the uh, sap buckets and see how we're doing. Like I said, it's pretty warm out today, so I'm expecting to have some. If I don't have any today, um, I'm definitely going to think about changing out these taps. That one felt empty. We did have t sap in these the other day though. That one's got some in it. So that's good. This one in the back here, on the left hand, or the right hand side, I think that one's going to be a decent producer this year. Um, it looked like it was already producing, so let's go ahead and check this one. Can't really tell. It feels like there might be. Very little in there, guys. Now let's check that one up there. This is the one I was saying. This is the one I was saying I think is going to be decent this year. And it's empty. The only reason I'm saying I thought it was going to be decent is I thought I had some in the line. All 
All right, so we didn't really get much. Let's go check the front tree. These are these trees back here are in the shade, so maybe they're just not warming up enough as well. Um, but it is pretty warm out here today. So I'm, I'll probably let them go maybe another. Let's see. Probably let them go until Wednesday. If I don't see anything by Wednesday, because it's supposed to be warm all week, uh, I'm going to go ahead and change out the taps. All right, let's check the last one. We've got sap in this one. Not much, though. Just a little again, just like the first bucket we checked. All right, guys, well, thanks for coming along with us once again. Uh, remember to click that subscribe button, and have a great day, guys.